this is Blade Man Unit Pie. I don't know why I said it like that, but it sounded cool ish. Probably not. <laughs> so, what I'm here to talk about is a little bit of a trick, and there's one of the probably most hated and maybe rightfully so, maybe not, um, characters in Marvel right now, America Chavez. Um, I'm going to give her a little bit more of a chance if I can, you know, stomach the, not stomach, but handle the opening song of the Risen thing. Um, from what I can tell, the comic ended pretty abruptly because of like, well, maybe not abruptly, but ended because the writer was pretty toxic. And the character wasn't even written by, made by this character, and she's getting the credit, this, yeah, he's a character, but this person, and she's getting credit for the creation of the character, which does not help her. Anyway, I'm, that's just something I'm going to work on. So, what I want to show is, there's this little program I got. Now, you can see this is a Logitech dual action, and this is Clip Studio Paint. These are all different programs that I have set up shortcuts and mapped buttons using this program to my DualShock controller. Now, this is something that if you really want to, you know, if you really want to, like, make your own stuff or or not make your own stuff if you really want to have some shortcuts that maybe you don't have and you don't want to shell out like a few hundred like a hundred or so dollars or something for something that's just there are extra buttons to control when you you're also a gamer or you just happen to go oh I have a USB controller that I I use that I can plug into my computer and it can kind of it can work and then you can use this to be, add extra buttons to your system and you can have them be any shortcut you want so okay I'm, normally it shows something but you can kind of see what it does here so here I'm using the oh okay Siri, Siri happened okay whatever not important Anyway, as you can see, I can navigate through the image by holding down different buttons on the controller. And I'm actually not touching my keyboard. I'm using here shift. This gives me, I have this set up to be these tools. And you can set up any key combination you want. Like, you know, 4 right now is P in Clip Studio Paint. But like in, let's see, Photoshop. Button 4 is B for brush. And other things, like I also have like these games done, but like Strata has it where on my Strata programs I have it like Shift, Space, 4 was number 1, I forgot why I did that, but okay. Oh, oh, that's a, that's a view set, that's right. And so on and so forth. I don't know why that would be that way. Okay, I need to work on those those key sets because they're kind of weird. Anyway, I've set it up where I can control a lot of things using my you know system here, and as you can see, it can speed up my abilities to draw. Now, if I can, where did my pin go? <laughs> my my drawing pin. As you can see, it can it can speed it up. Where all of a sudden I have access to my I have full access, and I have all these little buttons that like that was the shoulder buttons to mess with the side of the um, size of my brush, and then the button three is set to be a hand. But again, you, if you want, you can set this for any any setup you want, and you can see it's. And, you know, if I hit the space and shift and clip studio, you get the turn thing. So, you have, like, a lot more speed and stuff you can use for this, you know, to make your artwork better. So, it lets you, you know, move around and I have, like, different setups. Like, here's, this one gives me the, the, one of the hatch, hatch buttons gives me the lasso. Another one gives me, changes my my main color from being you know from being one of these colors to being the invisible so it becomes an eraser and then if I hit the X it switches between the two of which right now I have them as the same because 
reasons. I, I mean, I just don't want to. Sometimes I'll accidentally hit hit the X instead of the. Well, it's, it's X key here, but it's like part of all in the hatch. So this is just some of the some of the neat little things that I that you can do with this. And I'm about to show you um, when I do a jump cut what the what it actually works like as soon as I can find this. So let me show you try to show you in real time. Now as you can see I am I've switched to this view so you can see my hands working to try to show you what I'm doing with this system. And it, it's a pretty cool setup. It lets me change my angle. Sometimes there's a few bugs that are a little annoying but they work pretty well. It's like sometimes I get like a sticky click kind of situation going and that sticky click is a little annoying but it's also worse when I'm trying to use um, things. So I sometimes have some issues with, with like things being shown but it only happens when I'm trying to do more than just draw. So it's a little bit annoying because like for some reason whenever there's more processes going on there's a little bit of delay so that's the downside to this but there's a lot of programs that are like that anyway so this is just this actually works pretty well and I'm using a Julian which honestly if you're if you're on a budget but you, you got some money coming in Julian's screen tablets like this are actually really good I mean they're not super great they're not as good as Wacom but they're also not the price and they function. They function. There's there's nothing really bad about them. They they could be better per se, but you know they're they're just they're good. They're pretty good. I mean, there's really nothing I could say that would makes would say that you shouldn't get one if you're trying to get one. I mean, if you could if you have the money to get a, a Wacom, of course everyone yeah go ahead and get a Wacom. But if you're trying to you know get yourself going and you wanna you wanna get get up to a higher you know, art quality. This is a perfectly fine device to use, both Mac and PC compatible. So that's that's kind of cool. Now the only thing with the um, with this that I, I really run into is sometimes when I'm working on the you can see I just did like that. But sometimes when I'm working on things, it doesn't it doesn't always register. But it usually it's way worse when I'm trying to you know capture footage from working and that's just I'm not sure where that issue is really at but when I'm trying to do that it, it's kind of a pain in the butt and there's a lot of like bugs or something that happens but other than that you know other than that kind of bug this is a very solid little solution you see this is like an old little Logitech now a lot of people you know, there, there's a lot of companies are trying to show these little these devices that are coming out, and they're kind of expensive for what they are. So I think I'll show some of that and show you some of that now. So hold yeah. on. now I'm here to talk about the um, the what what other companies have been offering and stuff. And you see, like the um, this one is probably I, I think it's really neat and well designed, and it looks like a weirdly mapped out controller when you look at it. And it's like, oh, that's pretty cool, but it's like $99 USD. And while I can see it being extremely useful, and, and they're using exactly the same way I am, as you can see right here, it's still, you know, it's still kind of shaky. I think maybe the program might be a little bit more, um, like, it might be a little bit better integrated or something, but for the most part, it's like, okay, you're we're paying... That's a hundred bucks for this thing. So, it's cool, but, you know, that's pretty expensive. Another one, this one's really cool, and I, I, I'm not knocking them. This one is probably the most versatile one there is. It's a module, it lets you build your own setup. So you can just, like, you know, if you need more buttons to do this, 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 or that, you buy more kits and you, you build what you need. And, yeah... I, I can see that being extremely useful for people and they can set it up to do whatever they want. The thing is, is that that 
And this one's pricing is like 200 something if I remember correctly. I saw it somewhere. You know, they, they get you all sold on it and then they tell you, oh yeah, by the way, it's like, you know, like you go to this build a kit and yeah, like $200 there, expert 300 professional is 500 and that's some pretty expensive stuff. So my setup that I have here is that's actually pretty decent. You know, this is the controller I use. I paid a little bit more back in the day for this controller, but you know, it's we're talking like maybe twenty some odd dollars, twenty, twenty one, twenty two dollars to get this controller. And that's the exact same one I got. Um and then if you want this program, because this is the one I actually have to update, <laughs> that might solve a lot of my problems. But if you want to buy a license like I had, because it's pretty good, it's, oh, he dropped the price. It used to be $30, so it's $20. So for $40, and he doesn't even really offer any, like, lim there's a little limitations on it, but, you know, he, I say he, I've, I've, I've had some interactions with him, and he's been very helpful on getting things to work. So if you have any problems, he was someone you can really go to. Um, this is someone, if you go to usboverdrive.com, you know, this guy knows his stuff. This is the Mac version. Now, I know there's some people who are running on PCs. God rest your souls. I mean, <laughs> right. Uh, anyway, um, and while I was looking up for the, the parts I was looking for, because I couldn't find Tour Box, because the Tour Box is, was weird. I couldn't find it, but... This thing is probably one of the better ones that you can get your hands on easier that is made for what it is. But if you're just going to get like a USB controller like this or you have one because like if you have any controller, USB overdrive can map it so you can use it for the controls. And that's what I'm using. This one does, a, from what I can tell, the same thing and it's called joy to key Now this is PC only and they're a little, they're a little cheaper on what it is. I don't know anything about them. Download at your own risk. You know, you might look into them, but I'm going. I'm just saying that these this kind of setup is ideal for someone, especially if you're on a budget, because you can get your shortcuts and you can set up like, hey, I want to do, I want to have a button just where I hit it and it saves and stuff like that. You can do that, and this lets you do ev turns everything that this is turns your controller into what this thing and you only spend like 40 bucks if you don't have the controller if you had the controller you know you in you know, 40 to 27 dollars depending on that's if you buy everything because you know he like this one for the USB overdrive it doesn't really require um, it's another shareware and it will um, and you know it's yeah this guy has where well, you don't even have to really buy it but buy it I mean this guy did a killer job on this app I mean I have a little bit of issues but that may all get resolved as soon as I update his update things so and everything's gonna have a little issue so that I'm gonna put these links to these two sites in there and if you guys really want to try this out please do it's It'll give you some little, it'll give you something you can build your system, your systems and stuff. You can like have your setup where you're like drawing on your tablet and stuff. So it's a good, it's a good setup. I think, I think I've got built a pretty good one and I'm just sharing this with everyone. So peace, love and peanut butter.